welcome to my video today. This is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for pressing play today and coming to join me. Um, today we're going to be making this little project here, which is a little packet, beautifully gift wrapped bar of chocolate using our, some of our designer paper and some of our embellishments. Um, the bars of chocolate themselves I bought, if you're in the UK, from a supermarket called Aldi, which I'm sure all of you will know in the UK. Um, it, they come in a pack like this they come in a packet like this and in this pack you get five bars of this chocolate i think they would cost 139 so less than 30p for a bar of this chocolate really nice chocolate i think it's 40 grams i think they're of oh, 25 grams 25 gram bars of chocolate but really nice chocolate and so really real bargain um, for those um, these were my customer um, gifts for this month um, I like to send my customers a little treat um, packaged beautifully to show off some of our products and this was my customer um, treat for this month um, so I'm going to show you how I made them I've made several different versions this one it's all using the year of cheer designer paper um, which is this beautiful paper that's in um, gold foiled or silver foiled or copper foiled um, three different colors but all with whisper white um, so I've used that paper and then the embellishments I've used all slightly different this one I've used these ones I've used the gold paper this one I've used the copper one um, all of these little embellishments come from the trim your stockings I think it's called trim your stockings thinlet dies so the main part of this die set is this lovely stocking which makes a lovely pillar box gift box which I've yet to show you but there are so many little elements in this set snowflake holly leaves jingle bell mistletoe heart star so many different little um elements there that you can use for other things um, I think this is a really fantastic set I love it it's my favorite set for this year and I've used it lots um, so let's start today we're going to make a slightly different color because we're going to make it in silver so we're starting off with one of the silver foiled papers from the year of cheer set and I've cut it down to six inches by six inches or 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters I'm going to bring in my scoreboard and I've got a new addition to my scoreboard here today. I don't know if you can see, but the scoreboard itself is uses imperial measurements, inches. Okay, and there's a score line at every quarter eighth of an inch I think yes okay I have just purchased the, the metric board because I like to work in centimeters more and we've got half an inch, half a centimeter measurements there and some other measurements here I find that all the measurements I need are actually along this side so I don't need every half centimeter but if I did I'd just turn my card around and use that end of the pile so anyway I'm going to put my paper on there and to begin with I need to score at on this side I'm going to score at six centimeters which is there which is two you can see two and three eighths inches and then I'm going to score again at 12 which is four and three quarters it's very easy to do the, the conversions with this board um, I'm then going to turn it round and on the other side I'm going to score at two centimeters and 13 centimeters and that's all the scoring we need to do. I don't know if you can see the score lines on there. Maybe if I turn it round, you can pick them up a bit better. Can you see the score lines there? Okay, I'm actually going to burnish them so you will be able to see them a lot better once I've burnished them. So get my bone folder and just wherever those score lines were, I'm going to really press down to make sure we've got nice crisp score lines there. We then need to do a little bit of cutting, need to cut away some of the area that we don't need. So I've got that. Oh, there we go. You can see the score lines a lot better. So now we're going to cut away the areas that we don't need. So I'm going to and I'm going to kind of wedge, angle it so that we don't get any horrible sharp edges. So I'm going to just angle. So not cutting directly shape. Can you see I'm just cutting so that there's a slight angle there. Um, need to cut away that one and that one and this one and what you are left with it's a very simple little wrap this very simple to make is oh and this one sorry missed one out need to cut away this one as well there we go and what you're left with is this basic shape which is actually going to 
fold like that oh actually fold in like that and then fold over like that which is going to make our package to do that all you need is glue along one side here and actually i'm going to use our tear and tape because for boxes it's very easy to use this and it stops you getting in too much of a mess so just to make sure it stays closed i'm going to use two strips of our um, tear and tape although probably one would do it you probably wouldn't need one just going to trim that off because I've got a bit too long okay and then just take off the backing oh I might have to resort to my tweezers um, to do this I can't I've got no nails I really must try and grow my nails um, take off the backing and there you have it so if I bring in my chocolate my chocolate's going to sit in there um, I'm going to bring the sides in and then the, this the part of the side with the tape on there and then just bring this over and seal and that's our basically our little package how easy is that to do okay but of course we want to decorate it a little bit um, you can see I did show you earlier that I've decorated it with various motives I've got mistletoe I've got holly and I've got a snowflake and um, today what we're going to use is a little jingle bell I've already die cut it out of silver card. Um, again, it's from the trim, the trim Your Stockings set and it's there. Okay, like I said, loads of elements in that set. Okay, but first of all, I'm going to wrap some ribbon around. You can see on some of these, bring them back again. Um, this one I used some ribbon. I used, um, this is very vanilla with the gold edging. Um, this one I used some of our washi tape. This is our copper washi tape. And on this one, this is a patterned washi tape that I used there. Um, that's the Year of Cheer washi tape as well. It's all from the same suite. But today we're going to use the silver, metallic edge silver ribbon, which is Whisper white and metallic silver so that's just going to run around there like that I'm just going to do one layer around there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it here and I'm going to run around there this will also help keep it closed if the tape doesn't hold it although I think the tape would and just trim it off there so that's enough ribbon okay I'm going to go back to my tape my tear and tape and put a strip on there which is going to hold my ribbon in place there we go take off the backing my tear and tape just going to straighten up this edge i don't need that zigzaggy edge on there there we go and so i'm just going to place my ribbon and the join will be covered by whatever we decide to decorate this with so we don't need to worry about the join in the ribbon and that oh didn't stick Get that straight and lined up and press and it will stick and I might just trim off that little edge there we go so we've got a nice border of ribbon going around there okay and then the last thing we're going to do is to put our jingle bell on what I've done is I've used our layering circles so on two of these I used layering circles so you can see I actually used a white scallop circle and a gold normal circle on these ones and on this one I used our layering oval so I did a silver oval a silver scallop and a white oval layered on there so today I'm going back to the circles I'm actually going to use the second biggest circle which is this one and the third biggest scallop which is this one I've already die cut them so I've got this the scallop circle in silver and the um white circle, the whisper white circle plain circle um cut out there and i it's quite a wide border around this one but that was the look i was going for so i wanted that wide border so again back to the tear and tape you're sticking it onto silver foil card which actually means you need a glue that's going to be able to cling um, and not need to be porous if you were going to use tombow um it would it might not cling it once it's dried it might not stick permanently because it needs a porous surface to um, secure the adhesive um, let's take off the backing here mount this on my circle like so don't forget any of the products that I'm using today are available in my online shop um, which the, the address will be at the bottom of the video in the notes at the bottom of the video. Be delighted to welcome you as a customer and you might be receiving one of these in the post. Um, okay so that's going to go on there. I'm going to bring in my dimensionals and just mount 
that and you won't need many dimensionals because these are really powerful they're really strong really great and now we've got the tiny ones they last forever because, we, because they're smaller um, but just three dimensionals to put that on my package and then you can see I've die cut the jingle bell out of silver card and there's some quite nice embossing that comes out there which makes it quite pretty and then I've threaded some through some of our silver um, three millimeter ribbon through the hole at the top of the jingle bell I might trim some of that off in a second but I'm just going to see how it goes um should I do it that way no I'm going to do it that way and I'm going to trim a little bit of that ribbon off and again I'm going to mount this on a couple of dimensionals there and there and just going to trim off the ribbon and then we're done um, so if you'd like to receive one of these in the post please go through to my shop and um, I'd love to um, welcome you as a customer there we go and you could use this to make some beautiful little table favours for your Christmas lunch or something like that would be a fantastic idea there we go just trim that off there okay that's my um little package of chocolate just made a little bit prettier um with that packaging hope you've enjoyed the project today just bring back in all the versions that i've made and please come and join me another day i've got loads more christmas projects to show you um but i hope you've enjoyed that today and i'll see you soon bye